My husband is super into listening to podcasts. I mentioned the audiobook reading of Naval Ravikant's Almanac to him. I'll link it below if you're interested. Anywho, he had a listen a few days back and all I've been hearing from him since then is the fact that it's all about compounding. You don't get it, Priyanka. You don't get it. The secret to business and wealth is compounding. I'm telling you, Priyanka, it's all about compounding. If it's not compounding, it's not worth it. Seb, I get it. I get it to the extent that I dedicate this video to you, to all you lovely viewers. If you have no idea what our little domestic about compounding is all about, you're in for a treat. Compounding occurs when an asset generates profits, which are then reinvested or remain invested to create further profits. Simply put, compounding is generating earnings from previous earnings. The idea of compounding can be applied to other areas of your life too. It's not just about money. Learning or knowledge is a great example of something that compounds. You learn something and with that learning in place, you are able to learn something more. The growth with compounding isn't linear. It's more like an open mouth funnel, I guess. The more you have, the more you can have type of concept. Rather than being too theoretical about it, I guess I'll just demonstrate to you the power of compounding. Imagine you were starting out in the world and you were offered a choice between the red pill and the blue pill. The red pill is a one-time payment of one million pounds handed over to you right now, or you can have the blue pill. This is a penny that doubles every single day for 31 days. What are you gonna choose, Neo? Did you say blue pill? Let's play that out, shall we? Let's say day one. On the one hand, you have one million pounds. On the other side, you have your penny for the day. It's day two. Your penny is now two pennies. Day three, four pence. Day five, 16 pence. Day seven, it's reached 64 pence. Hmm, that's a week in. Okay, let's keep going, shall we? Day 10, we've reached five pounds and 12 pence. Day 14, 81 pounds and 92 pence. Man. That's two weeks in. We've only got 17 more days to go. Maybe that million pounds was looking better. Day 16, halfway point guys. And we have a total of 327.68 pence. Okay, let's speed this up. Ooh, day 21. We managed to reach 10,485 and 76 pence. Thing is, it's been three weeks. We only have 10 days left. Oh, let's keep going, shall we? Day 24. 83,886 and eight pence. Mm. Day 26, 335,544 and 32 pence. Hmm, a third of a million. But, but we've only got five days to go. Day 27, hello. 671,088 pounds and 64 pence. Day 28, ooh, we've got 1,342,177 and 28 pence. We crossed the million pound red pill. Day 29, 2,600,000, you could just read that. Day 30, five, five million, th read the number. Day 31, 10,737,418 and 24 pence. That definitely beats the upfront million. Who knew the lonely penny had that much power? This is it. This is the strength of compounding. If you can get your head around it, that is. I believe being in business is a way that we can create the magic of compounding in our lives. Working a job and taking a salary is like that million dollar red pill. It's not a bad choice. You get the money up front, there's security, no hidden drama, save for the tax bill, but that's it. If on the other hand, you put that money into a side hustle, an investment asset, or flat out take the bull by the horns and go into business full time, this is where you really have a chance to compound your efforts to create something larger than you could have ever imagined. Whether it's wealth, knowledge, or change in the world. Being in business has the potential to be a living, breathing, compounding beast. But here's the caveat. Compounding by its nature feels like nothing is happening for the longest of times. It takes the most enormous energy to get it going. But once it catches momentum, especially if you've stuck at it long enough, it can reach unimaginable heights. The condition is you give it the right energy 
and enough time. When you are building your business, it will feel more often than not in the early years, like those first few days and weeks with the pennies and pounds. But trust me, even though it feels like nothing is shifting, there's a lot happening under the surface. Don't get me wrong, I'm not guaranteeing success of the business. There are a hundred things at play that influence the outcome of the business. But what I am guaranteeing is your growth. If you're lucky and you've built the right business for the moment that you're in, chances are the business is compounding with you. But let's get this clear. The real asset here is you. Saying yes to the sometimes borderline abuse of being in business is a penny that promises to compound infinitely for you. But put in the right energy of learning, growth, self-discovery and nurture, say yes to experiences that scare you and give yourself the time you need to compound into the type of business leader that they will write business books about. As for you, Seb, you better believe it, sunshine. Until the next one, you've got this. Hi, I'm Priyanka. It's sunny outside, but I'm choosing to be here with you. Surely I earned a subscribe for that.